Right. So not as who's uh, Mike has your shells. Okay. Kevin, does someone handle this one? Go for it. Genesis of the program was really to give uh, wildlife undergraduates experience in the hunting the, the hunting world because we're graduating students who have never been in the marsh in the morning and seen the sunrise. They've never heard the whistle of wings. Um, and so that's a really foundational part of their education that's missing. And so if we're going to be graduating students, right, who are going to be wildlife professionals and interacting with hunters and trying to understand their worldview, like, this was something that was missing. Um, and so that was the genesis, was really as an educational component. Um, and so it's evolved over the years. They started off hunting public land, which was just very challenging for new hunters, especially in Louisiana. Um, and then uh, it's now evolved into where we are at these, these, these private locations where we have you know, well-managed duck clubs. Um, they can get like a really sort of premier experience for what waterfowling could be, um, which has the added benefit of seeing, meeting you know, people who are passionate about waterfowl, seeing the amount of money and time they put into habitat conservation to, to benefit the resource, um, and, and making those connections. And so um, we run it out of Dr. Collier's uh, R&R 4011 Wildlife Techniques uh, class. And so most of these students are, are in that class now. There's some exceptions. And so we, we put students through our education. Um, and then if they choose to buy a license, we promise to take them on these hunts. And more, more often than not, the students will be out there identifying birds. Uh, we have several aspiring botanists that ask us to stop the boats on the way back in so they can pick specific plants to put them in their plant presses for class because they don't get to be out in the middle of the marsh that often. So it's, it's, uh, it's just an added component to their kind of grad, you know, kind of collegiate education that frankly very few academic programs in the United States actually have. Right on the horizon. I've never done this before, but y'all all have faith in us that we can do it. Um, I think and learning in classes, you know, how important hunting is for the conservation of species and how, you know, people need to get into hunting. So I'm excited to start this new hobby of mine tomorrow. <laughs> See how it goes. Get it, get it, get it, get it! Get it, shoot again! Shoot again! Come back! Woohoo! Oh, First stock! Okay, was it? I, yep. Yeah, yep. I think it was, okay. yeah. First stock, Lexi! Yay! Oh, yeah. oh, really? Perfect written. <laughs> right written. Sorry. Congrats, great shot. Looking around your right side. Oh. I'm definitely going to be nervous. Yeah. It's either going to be in a very emotional crying reaction or a very, oh my god, that was so cool, like, you know, could very exciting. Yeah, could it could be a mixture of both. We'll see how it works out tomorrow, but I've never really pictured myself pulling the trigger out on a live animal yet, and to have that experience, it's going to be a wild ride, for sure. Nice, again, again, same dog. Well, I think, oh, Emma, Emma hit it. So Emma I, hit it twice. Yeah, Emma hit it twice, so I just finished it. Yeah, I nice. think that counts as Emma's first That's duck. Emma's, yeah. Hell yeah! Nice first duck. Let's go! <laughs> first duck? Best bird so far. Beautiful Drake Mallard. Oh my god, that's so cool. Big adult male. Congratulations. Oh. It's done. Yeah, I'm not quite the most experienced, but I've, I've done it. I actually, as an undergrad, went on a very similar program when I was at UC Davis. Um, and I mean, that was like a switch for me um, that brought me into the waterfowl world, that experience. So I think it's cool seeing these programs get brought to more and more universities and seeing like Kevin and Brett expanding on this program here. Um, and it's something, obviously I want to go out, shoot some birds, um, but it's also something I like to share that experience with other people. And I'm, I'm not going to say I'm not going to cry because I'm a crier, but um, <laughs> I think if I do cry, it's going to be out of like respect for the life that I've taken because um, I think that that is just going to be a, it's, it's going to be a very big moment for me um, because it is like the start of my lifetime as a hunter. Um, and I, I just think that 
it's going to be so much emotion of like how far I've come also um, just with my education and understanding like how important this is and so awesome that we can go out and do this stuff and also be like helping everything in the environment um, and I just I'm not worried about being sad um, I think it's just going to be more of a like I'm in awe of this moment and I'm in awe of the fact that I've, I'm able to take this life and also use it to feed myself and it, I don't know, I, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I, I love birds, obviously. I study birds, and I think all birds are cool, and I think ducks are awesome. And uh, I guess I never really had like a community of like friends that were hunters before. I came to LSU, um, and I see all the undergrads coming from the duck hunts, and I can kind of get jealous. Like, oh, I want to try that. And so I also think, for me personally, I think it's really important for people to understand like kind of the connection to the animals they eat, like where their food comes from. I feel like not enough people really think about that or understand that. Um, so I'm just excited to eat meat that I harvested myself. I guess we've grown up in Louisiana our whole life, but no one in our family hunts, so it's never really been accessible. And then we heard about the program and we really wanted to. Yeah. Um, me and my dad like fishes, but we Literally no one in our family ever hunted. Um, and so I just feel like there's a lot of barriers to entry maybe for hunting. At least I feel like that, not growing up hunting. And so this program's been really nice because I actually had looked into doing a hunter's ed program, I think maybe like a year ago. And then I talked myself out of it. And then my friend who's in the program said that LSU was having a program and invited me and Zoe to join. So that was just a blessing because I was kind of scared to go hunting. And I mean, I don't know that much about guns or ammo or the different types of ducks. So having someone explain it and have the time to explain it is really great. So we're really grateful for y'all. I'm just excited to see him. I actually was with my first, first time I ever went with a new hunter was last year. My little brother turned 13. So I got to see him on his first hunt, um, which was great. And I had a great time doing that. So I'm excited for the morning. Uh, to see that people my age and see how their reactions are different or compared to his um, and just get experience that with them and just being here and helping out and um, you know you always want to go on a duck hunt so I'm really excited <laughs> to be here. How, how was that this morning? Tell me about it. It was awesome. Uh, I was really nervous but it honestly was not that hard once we had like everyone guiding us and we had a professor and an experienced hunter with us so it was really nice, and we saw a lot of birds, we saw a bald eagle, um, a lot of ducks. Uh, it was way better than I could have expected. It was a lot more fast paced than I thought it would be, but it was incredible. Really enjoyed it, and I can't wait to go again. I mean, it was honestly just one of the most incredible things I've watched, especially when the sun was rising and all the birds were active, and it was just like, shoot, them, shoot, shoot. <laughs> um, but then when I, I actually did, it was one of the most like incredible things I've ever done. I mean, it kind of, I kind of did take a second, and I was like, wow, like that really just happened. Um, and when y'all went out and brought him back to us, it was cool just to like hold that bird and kind of like take a moment for it. I, I, I really think today showed me. Like, it helped me understand why hunters hunt. Um, I, I always kind of questioned it, um, but after the first, like, after that adrenaline rush, and I was, like, jumping up and down, and it, it was the coolest thing ever, and I, I am ready to go. I'll go back out tomorrow if I could. It was really, honestly, therapeutic. It's a peaceful morning, and you're just getting yourself situated. It's nice and quiet. Um, it was, although, like, as soon as the birds started coming in, it got really chaotic really quickly. Um, it was a lot of fun, though, and, like, that just adrenaline rush was, like, unique and definitely addicting. I definitely want to do more. Uh, it was a little, it was a little sad, obviously, to kill, to kill a duck, but then after you kind of get over that feeling of sadness, you just feel really appreciative to be able to take that animal. How much did you end up getting today? I think it hit my limit. <laughs> Um, I had ringneck duck, mallard, some shovelers, so it was really exciting. It was, it was the most incredible experience.